Hey, good morning, Criddle. You're the first one here. <clears throat> Are you chilling in the salon? Hey, what's up, Legal Boot? There's a guy I haven't seen in a long time. What's up, man? Long time no see for Mr. Legal Boot. Good morning, everyone. Starbit Gaming is in the house. What's up, Starbit? Grove is also here. Oh, Grove, I forgot to start that bot. Hold on. Try in another 10 seconds. First, how you doing, Criddle? It's good to see you as always. Me, I'm at the salon. I need a haircut. Myself, Criddle. But I don't like going to anywhere around here. You pay, like, some amount of money and your haircut's no good. How you been, Legal Boot? Ah, oh, it's updating now, Grove. Sorry, trying another 30 seconds. How's it going, Gino? I'm just doing a little maintenance here before I go try to kill some blue dragons. Hold on here, Mr. Grove. Alright, try it now. <laughs> I know, Curdle, it's not good. Good to see you all. Thanks for the tip. Hey, thanks for the bits, Grove. I demand rants about French onion soup. Well, if you try now, I think it should work. Finally. And if you're going to be stingy with the cheese, just get out of here. What are you even doing? How did you even become a chef? That's right. True today as it was yesterday. How did you become a chef if you're going to be stingy with the cheese? The age-old question. How's it going today, Groves? Good to see you all. Let's see here. I'm preparing for a dragon fight, so I need some items. <clears throat> you like that one, Criddle? Me ranting. Uh, all right, let's take, I don't know, some amount of nature runes. We're gonna need to take our anti-fire potion, of course. Um, we're gonna need our anti-dragon shield, naturally. I th think I'm going to attempt to save an inventory slot simply by keeping my dragon kite shield at home and equipping the anti-fire shield the whole time. Gino is doing good. Woke up literally 30 seconds before I saw the tweet. Nice, man. Got work today at 12.30? Okay. How much snow did you get the other day, Gino? I know you usually get a lot of snow in the storms. <clears throat> okay, so what are we doing? We got everything we need except some food and a dusty key. Where's our dusty key? Dusty key! And Grove will want me to take some sharks. Right, Grove? Should I take some of my 10,000 sharks or... Or what? What should I do? Maybe I should take some rock tail. Shark it. Guess what, Bob A? After today, I'm done work now for not sure how long. Oh, really? So more streams. Well, I like more streams out of Criddle, that's for sure. But how come... Is it like a holiday break? Is the salon closed, or...? If you're having furnace troubles, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> I hope you didn't get fired or something, Criddle, for stealing from the Minecraft server. Okay, I think I'm ready. Some nice sharks in your honor, Mr. Grove. I hope you enjoy. Now I have to teleport to the Taverly Dungeon. Taverly. Where's that at? Where's Taverly? I forget. Six inches of snow. They didn't plow well enough. Oh, yeah, be careful, man. I certainly don't want to hear that you wrecked in a snow in a some snow covered roads. What's your work these days, Gino? You probably told me last time I chatted with you, but I don't quite recall. Here's Taverly. Alright, so we're gonna teleport to Taverly.
because of the holidays and how they fall and then maybe lockdown. Yikes, that's a lot all at once. I'm at least off until January 2nd. Hey, that's great, Criddle. I'm very excited to hear that. So you have about 13 days, just like, I mean, you could almost count it as two weeks of vacation. My goodness, what a time to be alive for Criddle. Two weeks off? Last time I had two weeks off, I didn't have a job. Now, how do we get to the Taverly Dungeon? Let's see. I work retail. Ah, okay, I think you had mentioned that. Yo, what's up? Ryan K. Krizzle. Your city, your way. Long time no see, man. I saw you were streaming League a little bit. One of my old Dota buddies, Ryan K. Krizzle. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Hope your brother's doing good. Was Criddle banned for playing the Milkshake song at work? Yeah, in fact, I believe she was. No money, but oh well. Well? Will you be okay? We're gonna make our way to the Blue Dragons here. <clears throat> you know what I think of... Well, there's a lot of memories about Dota, Ryan, K. Krizzle. But one of my... F <laughs> one of my most fond ones is you playing Pudge, which is this big fat character that has a hook for a hand or whatever, and he can throw his hook. And you would just be throwing these hooks like Hail Mary hooks, trying to get the opponent in your hook, you know? And all you would say was something like, You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> Hot hooks, yeah. <laughs> We're good. My wife has actually got back into RuneScape. Oh, really? I didn't know you were married. So when I saw you were streaming, I was like, Pog. Well, that's cool. Did you ever play RuneScape yourself? Milkshake Song is banned everywhere. I believe it is, Grove, yeah. Critter will make it work. Hot Hook Krizzle. That's what it was. Was he a hooker? Not quite. Not in the traditional sense. We had like a, kind of like a group of just four or five guys that would always play together. And uh, there was a team of five, right? Dota is a team of, a team game of five versus five. So I don't know. We had a good group there for a long time. Got married a few years back. Actually moved to the UK. What? You're not even in, in NYC anymore? Dude. Well, I'm glad to hear it, man. You moved to the UK. That's crazy. Throwing hot hooks from across the pond, buddy. I love it. What's your brother John up to? Is he still chilling? Back in the homestead? Alright, now I'm going to drink some anti-fire potion and... Try to kill some blue dragons. This guy's probably going to try to kill all of them. So I might want to go to a different server, but let's let's get steal some dragon bones here while we're at it. He's still in NY. No longer my city, my way. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I guess you know you're moving up in the world, buddy. That's awesome, man. Getting the Dota updates. Last I heard from Paul, I haven't talked to Paul in years, but the last thing he told me was that he got married too. So hopefully Paul's still alive. Alright, let's find a different server because I don't really want to impede on these guys and I don't want to slow my own progress here. So let's see, how do we do that? He is a kid now too. Gotta get start getting ready for work. Alright, G Noah. Oh, that feeling when you can't go back and play Dota all night long anymore. Ah well. It was fun while it lasted. What am I doing now? I'm switching servers. Hop worlds. Let's go to a very small, unpopulated world. This will work. 44 players. That's hardly any, no one at all. The old Dota 8 hours a day life. That's right, man. Oh, I don't care about being forced into legacy mode, truthfully. Bum, 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 bum. Time to kill some dragons. Whip, with my whip. <clears throat> I 
How many haircuts you got the rest of the morning, Criddle? Are you booked up? Oh, I'm drinking my coffee here. I got my salt light. What is it? The Himalayan salt crystal? Got my light going here. Looking for a chill Saturday morning of some Yak Track Blue Dragons coffee and a little bit of the folks. Mm -hmm. Dragon bones are better than normal bones. I think. Yeah, they definitely are. I have a set of highlights in 15 minutes. Best of luck to you, Criddle. Do you cut your own hair, or how does that work? It's like, does a tree make a sound if it falls in the woods with no one around? Does a hairstylist cut her own hair when no one's watching? I don't know. Yes, I did. Did you tell Criddle that it is Bob Miss? Yes, I did let her know that the gift had been gifted. Hopefully she will realize you are here. <clears throat> oh, I didn't tell her it was Bob Miss. Well, I guess I'm not sure what that means. Grove gifted Criddle a sub for Bob Miss. <laughs> Merry Bob Miss to all. The nice thing is that these... I thought these guys would um, auto-attack me, but they're not. So that makes this even better. Bobby Claus is coming to town. Hey, on Shudder, that horror channel, Shudder, they have a lot of Christmas horror movies now, which I'm very happy about. The good old pyramid emotes. I think I still have two free emotes to make. I need to find someone to make me two more emotes. Bum, 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 bum. And these blue dragons ain't nothing. They don't auto attack. Which is good for me because that means I can stay here longer. And kill the dragons. Ba -da -da, na -da -da. Steel. I don't need that. Ooh, I'm still waking up. Even though I've been up for like three hours, I'm still waking up. How much coffee have I consumed? Um, only maybe 25% of a pot. So I got a nice tall mug right next to me that I'm trying to get, get through. Why do you get up so early on Saturday? I don't know, I start to feel guilty if I sleep in too long. So I normally get up at like 6, but now, today I got up at 8. So, only 2 hours and 16 minutes I've been awake. But... 
I don't know. I, I can't. I can't function anymore. All I can do is kill blue dragons. Brew the coffee directly into my mouth. <clears throat> if it wasn't too hot, that would be a good idea, but I think I'd probably burn myself. How's your coffee status, Criddle? Criddle drinks more coffee than me, I think, which... I don't think that's a good thing, but she'll never listen to me anyway, so it is what it is. Yeah, these blue dragons, see, they live in this cave. They're not bothering anybody here. They just, they live here. But I must kill them. So here I am. I will eliminate this species for the good of mankind. They must perish. Only one coffee? You'd probably at least have had two by now on a normal day, right? What are you going to do? A tea man? Do you drink tea in the morning to wake up or in the evening to relax? Oh, coffee time. Blue dragon time. Gonna have to power through. Good luck, Criddle. Ad hoc tea consumption. A little laissez faire approach to tea consumption. I like it. C'est la vie. I'm about to eat a shark in your honor, Mr. Grove. It's going to heal 197. Ready? Are you ready for it? Tiny bladed mithril sav salvage. Uh, maybe I'll deal with that. Let's clean off this grimy terramin. And let's cut this gem. Yes, sir. Getting a lot of green charms, which truthfully I'm not even sure what that does. Dragon bone. Dragon bones. Pass. Oof. I might get 61 prayer from this. Six hundred coins for a mithril sorry, tiny bladed mithril salvage. Whatever that is. That's a pretty good profit. 
Nature runes don't cost 600 each. They don't. They don't. <clears throat> are you on the laptop, Grove, or are you on the actual computer this morning? Phone time. Oh yeah, folks. Got any good plans for the weekend? You didn't get too much snow, at least, so you don't have that to worry about a whole lot. Not much of it melted here. Okay, I gotta go get ready. Hope to see you soon. All right, Criddle, good luck with your highlights. And if I don't see you, have a great day. But hopefully I'll see you later. Oh, I keep picking up the wrong thing. Hey, good morning, anti-gamer. Happy Saturday to you. You don't work on Saturday, just do you, anti-gamer? I hope not. <sighs> We're back killing uh, blue dragons here, anti-gamer, for our Yak Track Christmas event. No Saturdays for you? Very good. Same here, of course. No, no Saturday work. 99 out of 100 times. Dragon bones. Curious how we're doing on the yak track. Take a look. Did I get it? Oh, I have to kill 413 monsters, and I'm only killed 171, so... Got a lot of dragons to kill. That's, that's fine with me, though. for the tip. Hey, Grove. More sacrificing. You got it, man. Thank you for the bits. We have a long morning of killing, I mean, sacrificing blue dragons. We have to kill like 250. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still working through my coffee here. Oh, goodness. Good loot here. Coffee for Anti-Gamer 2. Very good. No sugar, though. I'm sure of that. No sugar. Uh, I was using up my fire runes. 
That doesn't really matter, truthfully. This one's in your honor, Groves. I'm trying black coffee today. Ooh, how do you like it? That's what I'm drinking also. Solidarity through misery, anti-game. Black coffee's the best kind. <clears throat> I agree. It's not the best tasting. But it suits me just fine. See, I grew up drinking instant coffee, which tasted absolutely terrible. But after a while, I got used to it. So... Something doesn't have to taste good to me to consume it, which is... You know, it's good and bad, depending on the situation. But now that I've brewed coffee, it's a delight compared to instant coffee. <laughs> I like to ice the black coffee. Yeah, I don't mind a good... A good iced coffee. I do put some ice cubes in my coffee to make it cool down quicker, but I don't think that's the kind of icing you're talking about. <laughs> okay, that's not worth it. High alking dirty herbs this apparently gives you one coin. That's not worth it at all. Can you hear the dragon noises and the fighting noises or the music? Just curious what you guys can hear, if anything. Sometimes my sound levels are no good.
little law rune for my trouble. I'll take that. Won't take the dragon hide, that's for sure. Sapphire. I need to get myself a pet that has a little bit of a bank. That would help. Hey, 8,000 coins for that rune salvage. I'll take that. Not too shabby. That's another sound effect I need to get back.
Hey Grove, are you still here? I just thought of something to tell you. It's not that important, but... I think I'll get another prayer level here out of this. Great. For sure I will. Sixty one prayer, I'll take it. Power of Dragon Bones.
Is anybody here? I hope you're doing well today. Okay, Chris, we're playing some League. Anti-Gamer is here lurking while cleaning the house. Hey, happy to be some background noise for you, Anti-Gamer. That's what I should be doing right now, but I, um, I at least progressed some loads of laundry a few steps forward <laughs> earlier today. <clears throat> Do you mostly play League now? You don't play Dota anymore, I don't think, do you? Uh, excuse me, Krizzle. What was your name in Dota? Was it Ryan K. Krizzle? I thought you had another name too, but I forget it. Having my raid playing on auto in the background too. What is, uh, what is raid? Radio? I think it was the same? Okay, fair enough. I think it was the same at at some point. Maybe it was always that. Maybe, I don't know. Raid Shadow Legend. Posture check. <laughs> Thank you, anti-gamer. Hydrate. Oh, thank you very much, Anti Gamer. I appreciate the redemptions here. I've just sat up very straight, very proper. And I have some sparkling, simply bubbles, Deer Park seltzer water here that I'm going to take a few sips of in your honor. Thank you very much, Anti Gamer. I'm not familiar with Raid Shadow Legends. Mm, excellent hydration. This posture one is a good one because if I don't think about it, I revert to a very hunchback-like statue. Stature, excuse me. Not sure how many more blue dragons I need to get. But this is some pretty decent loot nonetheless. Not sure what all these charms are for, truthfully. A skill that I have not done much in. <laughs> Raid is nice. I've invested so much time, says Anti Gamer, and well, some money. But it's a very good game for me to play. What kind of game is it? Is it on the PC or on your phone? I'm glad you're enjoying it. Shadow Legend sounds like like a World of Warcraft expansion, but I know it's. I don't think it is. Didn't they also have some kind of shadow in their name for Warcraft lately? I'm getting mixed up in my brain. Did you ever uh, reschedule your uh, coffee appointment with your friend, Anti-Gamer? Blue Charm.
Yo, what's going on, Jules? Happy Saturday to you, man. Good morning. No. <laughs> what's going on, man? Good to see you. Doing pretty good, man. I'm still trying to wake up for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm such a slug. It doesn't help that it's cold out. How about yourself, man? My back hurts, my neck hurts. I had to do some snow shoveling, so I'm kind of like in recuperation mode. But let me tell you, I used the snow blower for the first time, and it saved my life. I would be in so much pain if I had to shovel everything. But the way it was this time, I only had to shovel like 10%, so it was great. Looks like you're on a quest. Yes, sir, my friend. We're killing... Uh... Actually, let's take a look. There's a Christmas event in this game called Yak Track. And you can see here there's a yak pulling a crazy Santa sleigh. The night before Christmas. Get it? Night as in night of armor. So let's see. We have... We have to kill 413 items or monsters. I have basically 115 more to go. How did you fare with the snow? Did you get much? Didn't get any snow, but it's really cold. Well, that's... Uh, I don't know. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> How do you do, do with the co cold? I can survive it, but I don't like it. it. Makes me even lazier than I normally am. Excuse me. You'd rather have the snow than the cold? I got you. My posture is still in check, anti-gamer. I appreciate that. It has lasting effect. I can't wake up. I don't know what's with me. I might need to drink more water. I might need more hydration. Hydration is key. Hey, thank you, Jules, for the redemption. I have some simply bubbles, Deer Park sparkling water here, that I am now going to take a few sips of in your honor, my friend. Thank you very much. Delicious. Ooh, I feel strange. What's on the weekend plan today, Jules? Anything special? Nothing special here. I think, like, uh, Christmas kind of doesn't exist too much this year, so... Normally, I think I'd have a lot more to worry about. I get to be selfish this year and lazy, I guess, because we're not going to do anything. Hmm... <sighs> <laughs> Oh, that's right, you just started your vacation today? Nice, dude. Criddle says once she's done work today, she's also off for two weeks. That's awesome. 
I don't have two weeks off. I could. I could have two weeks off. I just... No, I can't even have two weeks off. Never mind. Um, I have two four-day weekends coming up, which is pretty good as far as, as... Usually as good as it gets for me. I'm happy about that. <clears throat> hey, welcome back, Anti-Gamer. Nothing to be sorry about at all. Hope your dad's doing well. Jewels and Criddle in the relaxation vacation mode. Oh, jelly... Jelly Jelly. Raid is a gotcha game. You collect characters and play different parts to progress in the game. Is it a mobile game? Killing me some dragons. I agree there, Jules. Work's going very well for me, though, so I'm not too upset that I don't have a nice long break. I mean, it'd be nice, of course, but work... Honestly, work is the best it's been. Let me think about this. In some ways, maybe ever. In other ways, in like five or six years. So it's not too bad that I gotta work, which I'm very glad about. Started out as a mobile at first, and they went to PC as well as a PC app extension. My goodness. So, which uh, one more question, if you don't mind, Anti Gamer? I appreciate you filling me in on this game that you're enjoying. What uh, do you play it on most? Do you play it on mobile or PC? It's very nice graphics. Is it like a medieval type of game, or I might have to check it out. Mobile. Okay, gotcha. I'll have to search for it later and check it out. See how it, see how it looks. Looks like I'm gonna have to take a bank break. So I'm out of food here, almost. But that's really not a bad thing. So we'll kill a couple more dragons and then probably have to hit the bank. Thanks, Jules. Yes, Medieval, you have a castle and a map that you play on. I play um, Clash of Clans. Did you ever hear that one? That's kind of like a medieval game. It's like an army building, base building game. I've been playing that for a couple years. I really like that game. So you're fighting dragons in your game, and I'm fighting dragons in my game. <laughs> Very suitable. Clan boss that you fight on different stages once you join a clan. Okay. I assume you're in a clan and everything then. Sounds pretty involved. I'm actually the leader of a clan in Clash of Clans for a couple years. You look pretty well equipped for fighting. Uh, not new items. These are just items that I had in my bank. Um, because before I was like chopping trees and stuff, you know, so you don't really need armor and all that for that kind of stuff. But I had all this in my bank from last time I played, I guess. So I just threw on all my armor and decided to go kill some monsters. I only know, like, two places to go kill monsters, and there's a million places to kill monsters, but... My limited knowledge takes me back to the same place, usually, over and over again. But I like fighting these dragons, because of the dragon bones. They give good prayer XP when you bury the bones. 
prayer skill. You have to level your characters up and give them gear to make them stronger and ascend them with potions. And give them books or dupe people to make their skills better. My goodness, that sounds very involved, Anti Gamer. How long have you been playing? For uh, a number of years or? <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed so much, Anti Gamer. About six months. Everyone needs something to relax and enjoy, that's for sure. started when this whole pandemic started so since March well that was the perfect time to get a new game going right it's like all of a sudden you couldn't even go do anything oh my neck hurts oh my posture I'm gonna straighten it up <clears throat> once more anti-gamer oh gosh <sighs> I really need to start a yoga class and I need several massages. I am in shambles. Doesn't seem like a lack of dragons. No, sir. <laughs> like, they spawn up pretty, pretty quick here. You're a yoga fan, anti-gamer? I could imagine that with your, with your healthy diet habits. Yeah, that's what I need, a deep tissue massage. I don't even really know what that means. But it sounds like I need it. I have a yoga mat. It's just that I never unraveled it, and I never did any yoga on it. Ooh, I might sneeze too at some point. Ooh. My dog stretches a lot, and she often does the downward dog pose, which I think is funny, just because that's obviously where they got it from. Grimy, grimy, grimy herbs. I would definitely get massages if they weren't expensive. They seem like... Expensive. Like a hundred bucks ish. Which hey, I mean, all all props to the massage artists or whatever they're called to that practice their craft, but it seems a little steep for a casual tryout. So I'm sentenced to a life of discomfort. I'm out of food now. So we'll kill a few more dragons and then head back for some extra food and drop off all of our sweet loot. Blue charm. 
Rhymy Taroman. When are you heading up to your parents, Jules? Are, are you already there, or...? Dragon bones. Christmas Eve. Ah, okay. Good couple days at your own place then beforehand. I have taken classes to be a massage therapist. Oh, really? Is that like recently? Because I know you've been at the bank for 13 years, I think you said. So was this before your bank job or recently? Out of curiosity. Blue dragon. Ooh, some bass. Keep the fight going just a few moments long. Just a few. Just a few moments. Way back before I started at the credit union. I got you. Did you ever practice as a massage therapist? Or you only took the classes? <clears throat> Muscles in our body is such an interesting thing. <laughs> it's definitely way more all intertwined and related than you would first think. At least that I would first think. So I'm sure that it's an interesting topic overall. You just took the classes. Fair enough. Definitely good info to have. Well, let's see. Maybe one more dragon. I'm running out of food, uh, health hit points here. So I'll kill one more. Probably teleport out of here. Your son and family members? They're very lucky. Uh, for that anti-gamer. I need a, a relative like yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's teleport to somewhere else so we can restock. Where are we? I can probably just teleport to Taverly. There's a bank... Just south of the Lodestone. So let's do that. Mm, Alright, now we'll go south. Bum, 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 bum. Pretty good loot here. Let's see if we can clean off any of these herbs. Dusting off the old herb pile, folks. Let's check out our herb stash. Pretty pretty good amount of herbs, I guess. Grimy guam, grimy guam. I can definitely clean off some of these. Let's do it. Clean them up. 
You don't want your herbs to be dirty, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, and now the gems. Jemmy gem. Toki token. Alright, now we will high alk this small plated adam adamant salvage. For a smooth 4,000 coins. Okay, we are ready for more action. Mm, let's see, I'm going to take... Some lobsters this time. And now we're ready to go back. But in truth, I think I might go upstairs and get more coffee and take a quick break. So once I get to the dungeon entrance, I will do just that. So thank you guys for hanging out with me on this Saturday morning that's slowly turning into Saturday afternoon. I will return here in just a moment. Let's see how many more dragons we've got to kill. Uh, 65. I think we can do that. Guess what my next thing in life is for fun. Besides my career, that's not for fun. Gotta always have something to do as a goal. I agree, Anti-Gamer. I will take a guess uh, when I return in just a moment, if you don't mind. And just for kicks, I'm going to run an ad to disable the pre-rolls for about a half hour. So thanks for putting up with the ads. I know it's not fun. But I'll be right back, folks. Thanks for being here. Oh, my back hurts, folks. have returned. Time to go back into the tavern, the dungeon. Okay, anti-gamer, if you're still here, she is embarking on a new for fun hobby. Uh, let me ask a, a qualifying question. Is it health related? Is it uh, food or body related? What 
did I just do? I don't want to chop that tree. Ask away. Hmm. It's not health or body related. Is it video game related? It's more for thrills. Ooh, what could it be? In the winter time? Are you going to go skiing? Or snowboarding? Or something like that? I keep running over my cord. My headset cord. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Skiing comes to mind for the winter time and thrills. Not skiing? Is it snow related? Tubing, perhaps? A little tube it up? Tube, tube? Not for winter. Hmm. Is it indoors or outdoor? Run, Bobby, run! Add to key ring. Oh, for real? I don't have to have it in my inventory? I thought you had to carry keys around like that. I do not have a key ring. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why I didn't know about it. Outdoors for any time. And it's not... It's not health related, it's more for thrills. Hmm, you're stumping me so far, anti gamer. It's not a sport of any kind. Sixty-three more dragons to kill for my react track progress. We'll be able to finish that up. Javelin. How much high out for a rune javelin? 374? That's worth it. At least breaking even about. Some consider it a sport, others consider it a relaxation. My goodness, you're really stumping me here, Antigone. It could be a sport. Others consider it relaxation. Is it like, uh... I am an in-between person. In-between person. So is this an activity that requires multiple people? Or can you do it by yourself? Goat yoga? What? That's up there with Poverty Sushi. It is an individual thing, or you can do it with another person as well. Just one other person? I'm an in-between person, she said. My goodness, I'm really stumped. I was thinking, like, um, there's different names for it, but... You know, like, that game, it's almost like horseshoes. But it's like bean bags instead, and you throw bean bags at a board with a hole in it, and you try to score points somehow.
Did I guess it? Or you were saying yes to a question? <laughs> Are you stumped? Mmm. I think so, anti gamer. Once you say it, I'll be like, ah, oh, of course. But uh, for now, I can't quite think of it, so. Maybe you can fill us in. You're saying yes to the question. Okay, gotcha. Hill climbing. <laughs> I am wanting to learn to fly an airplane. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't think I would have guessed that. That is quite the undertaking, anti-gamer, for real. Have you... Have you flown an airplane before? Like, have you done it already, or...? Oh, I'd be way too cowardly to do that. I'm not a thrill-seeker. I might be a sensation seeker, but I'm not a thrill seeker. I've been up and co-piloted. Wow, that's so awesome. Good, good for you. I had no idea that you were interested in that. I don't think we've ever talked about that before. Jules says he's a... He's a coward like me. <laughs> not to call you a coward. <laughs> Ah, okay, I see. Good. So, can you go through, like, a program to get your pilot license, or... Is it just for fun so far, or...? Excuse That's a thrill-seeking uh, activity for sure, anti-gamer. Good for you. I'm happy for you. It's just for fun so far, but you have to have a sponsor that teaches you to fly. And much like learning to drive, you get your license by passing a test. Wow. Well, please keep me up to date and the rest of the folks on your progress there if you further into it. It's really exciting. I I don't like to fly. I flew, let me think, four times in my life. To and from a place twice. So there and back twice, that's four. Uh, the first time I was too small of a little lad to even care. Second time, I was well aware of what I was doing and did it anyway. I didn't like it, but let me fill you in on a secret. I was in first class and had a little red wine to help with the situation. I love it. It's so relaxing. I can be up for hours in a small little plane. Looking out at the landscape, it's so beautiful. Now that I can absolutely agree with. Uh, I eventually was able to work up the courage to look out the window on my recent flight. And I agree. I just enjoyed seeing everything. It was not a view you get any other way, you know? So... <laughs> Good for you, anti-gamer. Best time is either sunrise or sunset. Magical. Oh, I could only imagine. 
Have you been flying at sunrise? That's like so early. There's no time restrictions on flying a plane, I guess. I don't know. It's probably a silly question. I have a whole new mug of coffee here, folks. Hopefully by the time I drink this, I'll be away. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. No time restrictions. You have your own plane. You go to the airport. You take off. As long as it's okay with the guard tower. Yep, gotcha. They need to obviously schedule the... Flying, takeoff, and landing of other planes, so that makes sense. Well, please keep me in the loop about your progress there. That's really exciting. I'm, I did not know that you were such a thrill seeker. You really sound like you got your life coming together here, Anti Gamer. I'm happy for you. You got your diet in good check. You're probably in good health with the yoga and your diet. You have a good job that you've been there for a long time, and now you're going into some extracurricular thrill-seeking adventures. Living the life. I'm a little jealous of your outgoing nature. Only 40, no, 33 dragons to go, is that right? Yeah. We'll see what the next Yak Track uh, goal is after that. I try to be well-rounded, if you know what I mean. I hear you. Sounds like you're doing a pretty good job. I'm not very well-rounded. Well, I am and I'm not. Like, I don't know. I guess I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Keeps things in balance. You got that right. My work is on the computer. My hobbies are mostly on the computer. So that's why I'm saying I'm not well-rounded. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. With the anti-fire potion and the anti-fire shield, between those two things at once, you get 100% protection from the dragon breath. If you only have one, you only get partial protection. I also love hiking and biking and running. Haven't been doing much of those lately. Now let me tell you, I can get behind that quite a bit. I used to run, uh, and I enjoyed it a lot. I worked up to running a 5k as a normal exercise routine like uh, my thought was if I ever want to join a 5k event then you should be able to run a 5k just like whenever like any given day so at some point I was this is about five years ago I worked up to being able to do that I love biking too uh, although I haven't really done it much um, one day I decided to go on a 20 mile bike ride 
on a trail that's nearby, and that was a lot of fun. But that was about two years ago, and I only did it once. However, let me tell you, Empty Gamer, where I happen to live now, there's a three or four, uh, I don't know if there's state parks or what, but there's some sort of, like, area where you can go, and there's lakes, and it's, like, well-maintained, and there's trails. Well, what I'm, what I'm getting at is about two, three months ago, I went on this nice four-mile hike through the woods. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm right there with you. I love all that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. I, uh, I don't know. The pandemic has made me kind of extra lazy as far as going out. But I love hiking. I would do it more if it wasn't for Lyme disease. But, yeah. Someday, maybe I'll be able to go to the Pacific Northwest and hike out there. I don't think there's Lyme disease out there. I don't think there's Lyme disease in Colorado either, but I might be wrong about that. We have a lake near us that has a 5k trail around it. You can run or walk. It's beautiful, I bet. I love uh, lakes and rivers more than ocean. I guess because I grew up around streams and lakes and things. So I'm right there with you. It's a very relaxing t uh, activity. How much is this worth? Hmm. Decent amount. Let's tie up a couple things here. Rune salvage. Eight grand. Mithril salvage. Six hundred. Still worth it. And adamantite. Four thousand. Pretty good. Uh, let's put our equipment back on and boom, 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 boom. On my parents' a oh, thirty-three acres. I run the timber. I haven't done that in months. I feel so blah about it. What is the timber? I can't believe your parents have 33 acres. That's like a dream come true. That's great. Oh man, I'm so happy slash jealous. <laughs> The woods, okay, sorry. You're an active gal, anti gamer, what can I tell you? Good for you. Most people are less active than you, I'd say. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing at all. It is mainly pasture area for horses that are older. You own two horses. Wow, that's awesome. Sounds like you kind of grew up on a farm or something. There's a lot of farm area where I live now. I don't live on a farm, but across the street there's a farm. They grow corn. And in another direction, I can sometimes see cows from my front door. So it's very farmy around here. Farm it up. Only 13 more dragons to go. So we'll definitely be able to finish this up with this food load. farm we did all sorts of farmy stuffs it was awesome <laughs> that's awesome i have a, a friend nearby that does live on a farm uh too he has cows and a barn and everything so sometimes i go over there and 
chat a bit. But, um... I don't know why I'm telling you that, I guess. Just a lot of farms around is all. Tractors and hay baling. Gotta feed those horses somehow, right? Do you share what state you live in, anti-gamer? Or maybe the section of the country? I You probably told me before, but I forget. I'm just curious of a general location of where the farm may have been. If you don't feel like answering, it's fine. I'm just curious. Iowa, okay. Well, that's a prime time farming area, I suppose, right? So you must be an hour, an hour, uh, where's Iowa? Is it an hour behind Eastern Standard Time? We've probably gone over this in the past, sorry. <laughs> it is, okay, gotcha. So it's not quite noon for you, almost 11. 10.53. You have no clue where Iowa is? Ooh, I'm drawing a bit of a blank and I should know. I know it's an hour behind East Coast time. But what it's above and below, I have no idea. Let me think about this. Iowa. It's like a, it's like a weird looking rectangle, right? With like jagged edges all over. It's not, it's not a smooth rectangle like a Colorado. Pretty embarrassing that I can't remember. I should know. I can picture it. Smack dab in the middle. I <laughs> got you. Hey, what's up, Skunky? He says, I only know where it is because Slipknot is from there. I <laughs> got you. And also, hello. What's up, Skunky? Good to see you, man. We should be finishing up our blue dragon task here in a minute. Is it below Illinois? Nope, to the left of it. Ah, okay, I was close. <clears throat> We're next door neighbors, I gotcha. I should definitely know that. I'm showing my ignorance by speaking out loud. You have just finished your current yak track task. Open the yak track to claim my rewards. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, yeah. I only have six more lobsters, so I think I'm just going to kill a couple more dragons until I use up my food. And then we'll see what's next for the yak track. Yak it and track it. Thank you, Antigamer. She's very excited for our progress here. Do, 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 do. We didn't gain any... Oh, you know, I was going to say we didn't gain any combat skills, but that's not quite right. We did get a prayer level, which is considered a combat skill. 
So, not too shabby. Prayer is very difficult to level up, normally, because burying bones is time-consuming, but... Not too shabby. I was saying earlier today, Jules, that's another sound effect we need to bring back, right? You remember that one? Not too shabby. Anti Gamer, thank you for the posture check. My posture has been better ever since your first posture check, but now I've corrected it even more. It actually helps. I've actually had a better posture ever since you redeemed the first one. So I really appreciate your help. Hey, Jules. Look at that. Redeeming the custom chat sound. Very nice, man. You're requesting the not too shabby? All right, buddy. You got it. Thank you for redeeming your points, my friend. My last question for you is, is this available to all of the folks or would you like it to be exclusive to yourself? Let me open up my notepad file of custom sounds. Jewels, not too shabby. I should be able to get that for you by next stream, Mr. Jules. So thank you very much for redeeming those points again, man. I think that's your second redemption. So you've, you're have getting a lot of points, buddy. Is that one for everyone or just for yourself, Jules? Third one. Wow, very nice. As you can see, I've lost track. For everyone. Excellent. Thank you very much for your generosity for the folks. I should be able to get that up for our next stream, man. Thank you again for redeeming those hard earned channel points. Not too. Shabby. Spreading that Christmas joy to all the folks. Can't clean that one yet. Can't clean that one. Can't clean that one yet. This one I can clean. This one I can clean. That one I can. Pick up the rest of our loot here, ladies and gentlemen. Green charm, dragon bones. 
Gold charm dragon bones. Let's high alk a couple things here. We're gonna high alk this medium plated mithril salvage. It's actually oh, I have one more. Sorry, one more thing to high alk. Tiny bladed mithril salvage. And now we are in pretty good shape here. We just have three more pieces of food to go through. So. reading up on the lemon tree that died. I believe it was because of the type. It wasn't quite right for our zone, even though it was sold to me as such. Oh. I was very dis... I am very disappointed. I don't blame you. I am very much wanting to get one planted and going again. I don't know how you can... Uh, actually, you know, a member of my family... Did I ever tell you this, Santa Gamer? I probably did. Uh, like 60, oh, like, I don't know, maybe 50 years ago, a family member of mine planted an orange tree from an orange seed. And it's still alive 50 years later. <laughs> You're building a greenhouse. I don't know how you have time for all this stuff. That's amazing. I like plants myself, but most of them, I don't know. I don't get a lot of sun here, so... I used to live somewhere where I had a window that always got sun, so I got plants that needed a lot of sun. But now I live in a place where I don't get that much sun, just because like the layout of the house. So some of my plants are dying, and I'm not very happy about it, but I don't think there's anything I can do. They've, they've been dying like a slow death over like two years. Very pathetic. So, my point is, I think I might have to switch to plants that require a lot less sunlight. Yes, the orange seed story? Yeah, I, I, I did tell you that before. It's still going. We thought it died. The one time the frost came in too early and it was outside in the cold, and it, it looked like it was dead for two years. And then, all of a sudden, two years later, it sprouted up a very small green branch, and now it's back to normal. Does it actually give out oranges? Strangely enough, it does not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... I'm on the East Coast, that's all I ever usually say, but I'm not anywhere where it's, you know, warm all the time. Uh, I have, you know, seasons. In the summer it's warm, but not in the winter. So no, if, if for some reason never decided to grow any oranges, but... Just the fact that it's alive, like, 50 years later, it's crazy. What other kind of plants are you going to grow, Anti-Gamer? Where you live now has a greenhouse? Or a space for it? Yep, the tree is alive, so... If it doesn't want to make oranges, that's fine. I'm just happy it's alive. I better eat some food here, huh? We're winding down our blue dragon killing spree here. Yeah, maybe, Jules. Uh, uh, I'm not that far south, so... Oh, this coffee tastes so good. Mmm. Give me that life essence.
You're not far enough south for my liking? Well, by definition, as a Canadian, you can only go so far south, right? <laughs> no plants, because of the cats I adopted. They're ruthless. I'm going to build the greenhouse. Problem solved. And yes, the plot I own has 7,000 square feet, and my house is small. Wow. That's great, anti-gamer. Can you please keep us up to date on the greenhouse as well? I would love to see pictures of your plants once you get them going. Now that you have a Twitter account that follows me and everything, you're you're very ready. Right? <laughs> Bit of an inside joke. Don't remind me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're just about finishing up here for the Blue Dragons, that is. Not the stream. Uh, just a few more, I guess. I only have one more piece of food. A koi pod? What? That's awesome, anti gamer. Are you going to get a baby koi, or are you going to have an already big koi? Don't they get pretty big? Koi kind of just look like giant um, goldfish, right? Am I thinking of the right thing? Alright, we need to high alk some stuff here. High alk takes your item and turns it into gold. Yes, like goldfish, they will be babies so I can watch them grow. That's great. Sounds like a lot of work, too, but it sounds like you're up for it. You can get them in so many different colors. Okay. What color are you going to get? Just a few more dragons. Get my HP a little lower than it is. Alright, I think that should be the last one. Getting a little too low on HP for my liking. So let's just clean up here. And we'll TP out of here. Let's see, clean off some of our herbs. All right, let's just walk over here a little bit, and we'll open up the yak track. Let's see what we got reward-wise. A small cash bag. Huh, well that wasn't worth it at all. But what I can do is get to the next task, I suppose. So the next task is what? It says fletching or hunt. All right, time to fletch, which is actually... Conveniently enough, exactly what I want to be doing here. What happened to my... Holy cow, what's going on? There we go. 
All right, let's. <laughs> that is the, you know, I don't mean to complain or anything, but that is the most useless reward for killing 400 monsters I've ever seen. <clears throat> so at least we're, uh, at least we are through it. <laughs> So many different interests in things that I've learned over the years. And then you move on to the next goal. It's never ending so that you don't allow yourself to go stagnant. But now that I moved into my new house, I want to grow on my passion. Anti-gamer, I gotta say... Ah. <laughs> that's a good lament. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, anti-gamer. You really sound like you've gotten things going for yourself. I'm happy for you. It's very important not to become stagnant, and you're not doing that. That's great. Where am I going to go now? Um, it doesn't really matter where I fletch from. So where do I want to fletch? Probably... S Probably Seer's Village. I'm just comfortable there, so why don't we go to Seer's Village? And away we go. Silver and brownish, gold ones, the koi that look like calico color. Yeah, I know what you mean, I've seen them. Oh, this is not the bank. Okay, let's see here now. Need me some nature runes. And what else? Let's see. Put this on. Put my shield and abyssal whip away. I will lead off of that and say too that it does take time. Yes. So when it doesn't happen overnight, don't get disappointed. I have to remind myself of this all the time. No, I understand. I'm similar to you in that way. Like, I have a lot of things I'd like to do. A lot of things I want to do. Uh, excuse me, you're right. It all takes time. And you can't bite off too much at once or else you'll never get anything accomplished, you know? You bought a fixer-upper? Don't tell me you're handy, too. Are you fixing your own things? Okay, folks. So now what we're up to is we got to do some fletching. Which is what I wanted to be doing anyway. Okay. We are in good shape now. Truthfully, I think I need to take another quick break. And then we'll do a little fletching. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to run another ad. And that will turn off pre-rolls at least. I'm trying to fix as much as I can myself. You are like Superwoman. So I'll be right back, guys. BRB.
Hey, I have returned. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Check on what's for lunch. Some leftover pizza is in my future. It's all good, anti gamer. I don't see any cat keyboard activity or anything here. Oh. I'm gonna do my own posture check. Oh gosh. Thanks, Jules. How many things do I need to fletch exactly for Yak Track? Let's see. 650. <laughs> oh boy. That's good though, because I wanted to fletch anyway. I'm gonna sneeze here soon. Uh. Yeah, I guess so, anti gamer. Oh, the sneeze, come on. Oh, it went away. Come on, this is killing me. Saturdays are usually when I actually eat lunch. <laughs> what shall I have? Well, what are your options? Probably something on the healthier side, I'd imagine, right? I'm having leftover pizza, so that's not exactly a healthy option, but we have it at least, so. I have nuts and berries and some cheese. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good lunch right there. What kind of berries? I really, really have been enjoying uh, dried cranberries lately. I was just going to say dried cranberries. <laughs> good. They're so good for you. They have obviously a lot of natural sugar. So that's a concern for your your current self. But I think they're, they're so good for your body otherwise. As long as I don't eat too much. <laughs> I think after your headache the other day, you'll probably not overdo it.
I could do an egg wrap with some veggies, but that would require cooking the eggs. <laughs> I think the simple lunch sounds like a good idea, anti-gamer, especially because you don't eat lunch all the time. Might be good just to get it over with. But the egg wrap with veggies does sound pretty good too. Is an egg wrap like an omelette, you mean, or...? <clears throat> A garden omelette, quote unquote, with uh, basically is eggs with a lot of vegetables mixed in. That's one of my favorites. You gotta. I'm all for sneaking in vegetables, you know. I was having some Home Chef the other day, where they send you ingredients and you cook it up, and the dish was very good. I don't remember what it was in it exactly, but basically beef and some kind of red sauce, and they snuck in some peas. <laughs> And I thought, hey, that's a good idea, because I can't even taste these peas. May as well sneak in a little vegetable. Hashtag, sneak it in. No milk scrambled eggs, the best. Yeah, I'm really making myself hungry now, Jules. How do you scramble the eggs with no milk? Actually, truthfully, I've never put milk in scrambled eggs, but I also don't know what I'm doing. Scrambled eggs, to me, is like you just cook the eggs and then you mash them up at the end. Ah! I didn't want to put away all my nature runes. No big deal. Hey, good morning, Linny Pops. Good afternoon, also. I know that's still morning for you, but it's slightly afternoon for me now. What's going on, Linny Pops? Good to see you. Linny in the house. You're just in time, Linny, to get in on the food conversation. We're talking about what anti-gamer should have for lunch. What did you have for lunch? Or well, breakfast? Just cook them as usual without the milk. When you add milk, it dilutes the egg flavor. I hear ya. I've never put milk in eggs. But I don't know. I'm sort of... I'm stuck forever in some sort of caveman mode. Apply heat to the thing I wish to consume. Like, that's as far as I can take it. Haven't had anything to eat yet. I'll probably wait until about 1 o'clock. All right, Lenny. You can't get off that easy, Lenny. What are you going to have at 1 o'clock? 91 minutes from now. Turkey burgers or leftovers from last night that I didn't eat. That sounds pretty good. Your famous turkey burgers once more, maybe?
I <laughs> love my turkey burgers. The picture you showed me looked very good. People started adding milk to eggs to stretch out the eggs to make it feed more people. That makes sense. Then it sort of became a thing. Like, you gotta do it. <laughs> kind of like adding bread to meat back in the Depression era. I got you. That actually makes perfect sense to me, anti-gamer. Lenny always adds milk to eggs. I've never done that. Makes it fluffy, that's true. If you told me right now to go make eggs, I never in a million years would have been like, ah, yes, get the milk out. Oh, I'm just a caveman. That's all there is to it. At least I'm not drinking raw eggs from a glass like Rocky Balboa. Lenny Pops is a good cook. Hers are always fluffy and cheesy. Ooh. Cheese and eggs are a great combo. Da, na, na, na. I have the desire to go to Buffalo Wild Wings now some, for some reason, but I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> You're not a good cook? What do you mean? You're making fluffy eggs? You're making turkey burgers? Sounds like I need to hire you guys to come cook some eggs. Sounds like I would just burn them, because I don't know what I'm doing. Apply heat to the thing I wish to consume. Decent at best. <laughs> and what about at worst? Strike a rock against another rock, create a spark. <laughs> That's right. Ah, da -da -da. Making some shield bows here, ladies and gentlemen. Hundred and twenty out of six fifty. So I guess I at least have to make six fifty.
<laughs> yeah, that's about right, Jules. <laughs> Some sort of caveman. Anti gamer loves cooking. The only thing is, I've been taught the soulful, not so good for you foods, like fried chicken and all that tasty stuff. How about some mac and cheese? When I think of soulful food, I think of mac and cheese first off. Homemade mac and cheese? Oh, yeah. Do you have a recipe for that, Anti Gamer? Soul food is the only way to go. Maybe Mexican too, but that's it. <laughs> I bet Lenny Pops, I bet you have a pretty good recipe for uh, mac and cheese. <clears throat> Mine is apply heat to noodle, make soft. Add cheese. Three to five different kinds of cheese, depending on how much you want to jazz it up. Gotta get at least more than one, right? <laughs> Food good for stomach. Make pain go away. Anti-Gamer is now enjoying some nuts and berries. Very good. Dried cranberries. What about the nuts? Got some almonds. You got some cashews. You got some pistachios. What are you, what are you working with there, Anti-Gamer? What you, what you working with? Walnuts. Ooh. I think of Christmas when I th have walnuts. Is that why you have them, or do you have them just for no reason? For non Christmas reasons? Yeah, you gotta bust them open with the rocks for sure. You just have them because, got you. Jeez, my teeth would break, I think, if I tried that. Yes, don't forget the cheese. How about it, Jules? I 
I eat them enough that I buy them the already shelled ones. Oh, okay, I got you. I really like pistachios, but I've never bought them unshelled. I always just buy them with the shells. But the big bag of unshelled ones, my goodness. Those are like a dream come true. Pistachio my o. They're high in carbs. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I think that almonds are the most boring nut. I'm not really a fan of almonds. I've eaten them too much, maybe, in life. That's probably why. They're kind of boring. Yeah, that's why I don't really like them. They're just kind of like filler. The only thing I don't like is how crunchy they are. Yeah, that too. And I might have even eaten some stale ones over the years where it's just like, wow, there's nothing good about this at all. But I didn't realize they were stale at first. You know, I don't know. I have like this bad mental image of almonds now. And sometimes they try to put like seasoning on them, like salt and vinegar almonds or... Some sort of sriracha almonds, and like, it still just doesn't, it doesn't do the trick. They're still just kind of, kind of terrible. I'm sorry, almonds. I didn't wake up this morning thinking I would be so cruel to you. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of agree with you, Anti-Gamer, because it's just adding more salt to it, you know? I agree.
I do keto if I haven't mentioned it before. Are you currently doing keto? No, I didn't know that. I just knew that you were intermittent fasting. You're doing several things all at once. I did a low carb diet like two summers ago, two and a half years ago, and it did help me lose weight. I don't think I ever reached keto status, but even just low carbs in general were a help. I lost maybe 10 or 15 pounds. Good for you. I feel like you need to start, not need to, <laughs> I feel like Another hobby of yours could be like a fitness blog or something like that. you take the ketosis strips or do you know if you're in ketosis? <clears throat> Quite some time low key. You've been doing it without realizing it. <laughs> Just avoiding carbs, mostly, I guess. Uh, high fat, too, right? I mostly avoided carbs and didn't consume high fat, but I think the keto part is high fat, if I'm not mistaken. High fat, low carb, with me intermittently fasting and then having to get my caloric intake with food. I was doing high fats and low carb because I didn't want the bad stuff. <laughs> well, luckily the high fat, I suppose, has a lot of calories within it, so... Yeah, I'll say that's a win-win for sure.
Hi, Penelope. Keep the doc up to date. He asked me how it's going. BMI is in check. Everything's good to go. That's great. I think I need to start living like you because I could easily... I certainly have 20 pounds to lose, anti-gamer. I certainly, certainly do. <laughs> Hey, unfortunately, Lenny, I don't think the time heist will work anymore. Sorry. Well, good for you, Anti-Gamer. I'm impressed. I need to turn things around. I, I go in waves. Sometimes I'll do like four months where I'm really, really good, and then four months where I slack off completely. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to break. I just used up all of my nature runes. I'm gonna go grab me some lunch now, so I really appreciate you guys hanging with me all morning. Anti-Gamer was here the whole time, and many others as well. Just gonna check if there's anyone to host. Uh, maybe our friend Elistani we can go say hello to. He's a Finnish English streamer and looks like he's doing a 24 hour stream right now. He's playing Binding of Isaac currently, which I'm not too familiar with, but we'll go raid him there, I suppose. Yeah, it's certainly not going to make you feel worse mentally, uh, anti-gamer. Thanks, Jules, for being here. I'd like to thank the following people for hanging out with me. Pa uh, Perk, what's up, man? Skunky, Abbott Costello, anti-gamer, Hellhound Gang, Jules, Lenny Pops, uh, Grove, Mrs. Wells Knight. Hey, Mrs. Wells Knight. And last but not least, Sad Girl. Thank you, Anti Gamer, and everyone for coming. It's been great. And if you'd like to go say hello to Elastani, feel free. If not, I'll see you guys next time.